Holy greetings to you, our television audience. I'm June Brooks Paul, founder, president of Operation Outreach for Souls. Thank you for joining us today as we share God's word, Holy Ghost prayer, and testimonies. You may note from the logo that we've been involved in a number of activities such as radio, literature, workshops, and now television. My prayer is that your life will be enriched as we share God's greatness and goodness with you today. Good evening, good morning, or whenever you're listening to this uh, program. I'm June Brooks Paul, founder director of Operation Outreach for Souls, and we just bless you again. And we're praying for you, and we encourage you to pray for us. And later on, you will see our email and our telephone. And if you'd like to contact us and give us a prayer request, a praise report, we'd love to hear from you. And we invite you to join us in prayer. We'll be in Shut In and Slide L tonight, all night with the ministry and praying in the Holy Ghost and also the teaching of the Word at midnight, 3 and 6. And several other of the saints will be joining us. So, you pray with us and it, although you can't be with us in person, you can be with us one in the Lord, in the Spirit. And as I said, you can call us after the program. Thank God for Jesus. Uh, we have a very special treat for you uh, tonight. And let's give the Lord a hand clap and then Amen. we'll hear from uh, Minister Greg Levias. Amen. Amen. Let's get going for Jesus, Brother Levias. Hallelujah. Well, being we're in New Orleans right now. This is the festive time. They're having the Mardi Gras. So we're going to be festive for the Lord. Come All on. All right. Has lifted to the 
years of ministry. I had a birthday yesterday. 41 years in ministry. Birthday. 40 in the ministry. Yes. And I'm excited That's about that. Thank birthday. you, Lord Jesus. And also, I'd like to thank the Lord because as I drove on Interstate 12 last night, there were line of cars and all of a sudden the car in front of me had to throw them brakes and kind of twist around to keep from hitting the car in front. And then there I was and the Lord, I had to throw on brakes. I had about a half second and about a hair's breadth before I would have hit the other car. Oh my but Jesus. my car just, it didn't twist anything. Oh, and I said, Lord, I know there's prayer. Because people pray for me as I am on the highway. And I want to give God the glory yes, for that. Yes, Avoid that accident. Yes, yes. So praise the Lord. And uh, tonight, um, Sister Levi, she have a scripture. Ooh, I just thank God for that prayer report that I just heard. I tell you, it pays to pray. Yes. But the scripture that I'm going to read and you're hearing tonight come from Isaiah, the 55th chapter, verses 6, 11, and 12. Verse 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Mm -hmm. Verse 11 says, So shall my words be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall purpose in the things prosper. which prosper, mm -hmm. in the things whereto I send it. For ye shall go out with joy, mm -hmm. and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Glory to God. Praise yes. the Lord. Mm -hmm. the Lord. And that was from mm -hmm. Isaiah 55. We right. encourage you to read it and make a note of it. Uh, and we, we thank God and also uh, join in us. Hallelujah. And if you haven't, we didn't uh, pray at length at the beginning, but you hold on because at the end we're going to pray a yes, prayer of deliverance, especially mm -hmm. for you and all the prayer requests that you have. But we have with us as our special guest, and you uh, are going to hear her minister in song. And it's going to be a real blessing to you. Praise the Lord. One of her original songs. We have uh, 
Minister <coughs> Miss Martha Kinema with us tonight. Amen. Amen. She's yes. Not only uh, you're hearing her minister of music, but she's going to share the word of God. Amen. And we have with her her friend and my friend, Sister Angel. Yes. 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 And they are from the Mandeville area, but uh, they also fellowship here in New Orleans. And uh, Sister Kinema uh, has also minister in her home. Amen. Um, the prophet of God be. comes in each Sunday afternoon. But let's get right into the word. And what is God saying to you? By the way, Martha and I have long, known each other a very long time because we, we work together in the school system. And uh, I can see the first day that I met her, she's been a real blessing in my life. And I love you, Martha. <laughs> Amen. Yes, so on, I what love you God too. Just, well, it's all yours. I do have to say that, Dr. Paul, that when I met you, um, God opened the door for me to be to teach and everything, but then I moved away and came back, mm -hmm. and God opened the door again and moved mm -hmm. the mountains for yeah. me to teach. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. what I'm talking about tonight, that God is moving mountains for you. But the uh, scripture I have here is um, Hebrews 11, 1. Faith is the confidence that we, uh, that we hope for mm -hmm. will actually happen. Now, they say, oh, yeah, I have faith, I have faith in everything, yes, uh-huh. But it's, it's the confidence that what we hope for, what we hope for will actually happen. Well, Dr. Paul, you know, I have two daughters, mm -hmm. and um, I um, pray for them all the time. And, you know, I used to just worry, worry, worry. But the Lord showed me, he said, you know, when Moses went down the Nile, I had him in a basket, <clears throat> And there was crocodiles, there was everything around Moses. And, but the Lord had his eyes on Moses in that basket. There was no snakes. I mean, nothing could get him. And he watched it and went down the Nile, and he made it to the place where he needed to be. Yeah. So if you have someone that you're concerned about in your family, that you're, you know, say, Lord, you know, please save them. Please, he is going to. You believe him, Amen. And receive it, because... Uh, Faith can move mountains. Amen. And uh, so, so I put my girls in a basket, and I said, "Okay, Lord, you can put Moses in the basket down the Nile. You can do that for my girls. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to worry about them. I trust the Lord. Do you really trust the Lord? What you know? What are you going through? Um, uh, so many people have fear. You know, and all the things that are going to come upon the earth, they have fear. Well, God. And his word said, I didn't give you a spirit of fear. So where does that come from? It didn't come from God. Didn't give you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and sound mind. Yeah. So these things that are going to come upon the earth, we have to know and trust God and believe his word. And Sister Rose said, the word will not return void That's right. mm -hmm. at all. The word will not return void. So um, when we are praying, we need to believe God. What does his word say? Dr. Paul, when I was in high school, well, gosh, I went to Mississippi State, and I had a couple of car wrecks and ran off a little oh, cliff, oh and I was afraid to drive. Jesus. Fear just Jesus. came all over me because I ran off a little bank embankment. I was a little scared, but let me tell you something. <clears throat> I walked through that. I asked God, I said, oh, just deliver me right now, and he could have, and he will. But he let me walk through it. And God didn't give me a spirit of fear, Amen. but a spirit of love, power, of sound mind. Yes. And I walked through that, and the Lord delivered me from fear. You do not have to have fear in these times. If you're walking <coughs> and abiding with the Lord, Glory. sitting at his feet, he's going to take care of you. Right. And But he didn't give you a spirit of fear. So this is the what I'm trying to say is that we need to believe God. We need to believe his word. Yeah. And then you say, well, I, that's not my problem. My problem is people. Mm -hmm. You know, they mm -hmm. gossip and they carry on and I want to get back at no. Do you believe that God's going to take care of you? You don't have to say anything back. You know, he will take care of you. He will give you the words mm -hmm. to say. Amen. He's going to take care of you. You sit at his feet. He wants us to come away from the world and sit at, sit at his feet mm -hmm. And he's going to direct our paths. Everything. He's saying, do you believe me? Do you trust me? Do you trust me with your family? Do you trust me with your finances? Glory. And uh, let me tell you something. Um, I had some financial difficulties and everything. And sometimes I would go to the bank. And just on the way to the bank, I didn't have enough gas. Mm -hmm. 
And I said, Lord, please just multiply my gas. And he would do it. Praise God. I, I asked him for a piano recently, and he, I didn't ask the person for it, but the Lord gave it to me. Just gave it to me because he even knows what we need before we even ask. Yes. Do you trust him? Do you trust him with your finances? Do you trust him with your family? Yes. But, Martha, you never know what these people did to me. Do you have forgiveness in your heart? Ah. The Lord says, if you don't forgive, I won't forgive you. So we need to, church, it's time to wake up. Amen. Jesus is coming soon. Praise what are God. we doing? Hallelujah. we got to stand on the word. We've got to believe him. we got to trust the Lord. Yes. Trust in him and obey him. Trust and obey. So, you know, Dr. Paul, I think of a lot of things that people have needs of, of healing. Yes. And... Um, the scripture that I had said in the song is called Touch the Hem of His Garment. This lady, she even said, she said, you know, if I can touch the hem of His garment, I'll be healed. She even spoke it. And so when Jesus came along, she had the faith. She believed that if she just touched His garment, yes. that she'll be healed. Well, the Lord says that you're healed by the stripes of Jesus. Amen. His word, Rose said, will not return void. Right. Do you believe Him? He's not looking for people to say, oh, yeah, that's what the Word says, but, you know, it's not going to happen for me. Yes, it will. And so um, whether it's finances or you need money or for God to supply your needs, he said, God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. Praise God. But you know what he really wants is your heart. Hallelujah. He wants your heart. He wants all of us to sit at his feet. Amen. When we sit at his feet and enter his presence and worship the Lord, yes. worship the Lord, he will direct our path. He will give you visions and dreams and guide you. So, you know, the whole thing is, do we really believe? It says faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It will for you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? And just to hear you inject personal testimony into into that word, and and I know that there are many people out there who are taking what you've said to heart. Uh, just meditate upon the word, and go and open your Bible and search out some of these scriptures that were mentioned. Praise God! Whatever fits your situation. Have faith in God. Go to Hebrews. And faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Walk on by faith and trust Him. And we want to, can we pray now? And then we'll go a little bit further after that. Would you, would you pray for those that you, that those who were listening? Amen. And just cover the water from whatever God Yes. Thank you, Lord, we just praise you that your presence is here on the set and in these people's homes, Lord. You are there. We are here together, Lord. And we just thank you for your power, your grace, your mercy, Lord. Lord, we just believe you. We trust you, Lord God. We believe your word is true, Lord. It will not return void. So, Lord, if there's anyone who needs a healing, just place your hand on your body where it hurts or wherever it is in Jesus' name. We lay hands on the sick. They shall recover. Lord, you made the world. You parted the sea. You can do this. Oh, not for me. Yes, for you. For you. The Lord is going to heal you. Just believe and receive. Touch the hem of his garment. And look, if you don't know the Lord, he's waiting. He's waiting for you right now. It's just like when my when I come home every evening, my puppy's waiting for me. You know, and it's like the Holy Spirit. He's waiting on you. He's waiting for you. So if you don't know Jesus, ask him into your heart to forgive you of your sins. He's faithful. He will forgive you. Or if you have anything against anyone, just forgive them. Start anew. Lord, we just ask you to cleanse our hearts. Shine your glory light in our hearts and just forgive us of our sins, Lord. And help us to forgive others. As we trust you, Lord. We trust you. We believe in you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
you know, um, you there, the Lord spoke to my heart and says, there's somebody else who has two girls, or maybe you have two boys, and they're on your heart and you're concerned, but right now we want to touch and agree with you for their deliverance, or whatever the case may be, and we're going to join you and undergird you in prayer for your children, yes. and maybe two grandchildren, whoever, whomever. But Father God, in Jesus' name, would take authority yes. over the yes. enemy who would cause this mother, this grandmother, whomever she is or he, on behalf of those children, in Jesus' name. Lord, we set the captives free yes. in the name of yes. Jesus. In Jesus. The name. blood of Jesus covers those children now, mother, grandmother, grandfather, whoever you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Following up on, the, on that scripture, somebody who's ill there today, crying out, Lord, can I be healed? Lord, yes, yes his word says, be healed by his yes. stripes. You were healed. Just love him and worship him like yes. we've been worshiping him tonight. Believe ye his prophets and so shall you prosper. Yes. Believe the word of God. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you today, tonight, and we praise God for you. you amen, amen, amen. And right now, we're going to just flow some more in the spirit, and we're going to worship God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And if the Lord has something on your heart, something else, word of knowledge, then just take the liberty. Sister Martha, Sister Angel, Hallelujah. Um, um, uh, the Lord's put on my heart um, as Rose was reading that scripture um, in Isaiah 55 that to seek the Lord while he can be found. And I know there's people say, well, I, you know, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll put it off. Or there's, um, there's holidays, there's parades, there's family functions. And God's saying, don't put it off. Seek him while he can be found. Yes. There's great darkness that's coming upon the earth. And the, dis the day you decide, okay, I think I'll, I'll look for him now. That darkness might be so thick, you won't be able to see the light. Seek him now. Make your decision now that you're going to serve the Lord. And not serve the world, not serve yourself. Yes. Yes. And I just see him with a big basket full of presents, full of gifts that are going to help you to serve Him. They're going to help you to pray, to worship, to intercede, and to live the holy life. Lord. So God's saying, don't delay. Don't wait. Come, run after me. Hallelujah. Run. Now's yes. the time. Run. Now's run. the day. Run. Today's run. the day of salvation. Hallelujah. When you hear my my voice, don't harden yes. your heart. Hallelujah. He's, he's knocking at the door. Yes. He's knocking at your door. And just as He knocked at each one of our doors, Many years ago, maybe he just knocked at your door and you did invite him in uh, a few days ago or last year or maybe even tonight. Hallelujah. Yes. This is a, a great time for rejoicing. All the angels are rejoicing in heaven because you came to the Lord. You repented of your sins tonight. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And I can see Jesus just standing there, just standing and saying amen, just standing and praying for us and delighting and I see a big smile on his face because you gave your heart to the Lord. Praise God. Oh, we love him. We thank God for you. And we'd like to also um, just remind you and invite you to our Camp Crusade in the month of June. And we're telling you about it early. The Camp Crusade for Operation Outreach for Souls will be held in Slidell on June 8, 9, 10, and 11, 2000. 11, and we'll tell you more about it. It will be at 812 Stanley Street in Slidell at the Quillen Temple Church. Amen. But we'll be keeping you informed and would like to invite you over. It's just right off the interstate as you come over into Slidell, a few blocks down. But we thank God for you and call us 504 914 4465. Amen. Or you can email us at text us at Operation Outreach for Souls at yahoo.com. Again, Operation Outreach for, for Souls 
at yahoo.com. And our telephone number is 504-914-4465. And I'm Sister June B. Paul. Amen. Coming to you again and praying for you. And remember, we'll be in prayer tonight. Join us. We love you. Let's give the Lord a hand. Thank Thank God. to touch the hem of his garments this man from Galilee just to feel his healing power if I could touch him blood for 12 years she went to doctors she couldn't get healed but she said you know I heard about Jesus and he was passing one day she said if I could touch him just the hem of his garment I will be healed so when Jesus came her way the crowd was going back and forth and she said oh I have to touch him and she did And Jesus said, who touched me? And she said, I did. He said, daughter, your faith has made you whole. For there's healing in the master's hands for you and me. Just reach out. reach out and believe for there's healing in the master's hands for you and me just reach out and believe he healed the blind man cleansed the leopard he said reach out and receive. Won't you touch him today? <laughs>